Let us continue playing Vulture for NetHack, and this time we're going to play as FUD. Because unfortunately I want that... Uh, Ugg is the name for cavemen. It is the name for cavemen. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do that. It's just... no. We... <sighs> yeah, Ugg is a legendary character in NetHack. He was one about my third most successful character when I last did this um, full run through. And of course Ugg is now established himself well within uh, various XCOM and Xenonaut campaigns, but we need to pick somebody new. So we're going to pick a caveman. He's going to be a dwarven caveman with a constitution boost. He's going to be male. It's written in seek the amulet of Yendor, and that looks like a dwarven caveman. Um, we have 1805 strength. We have 16 constitution, 18 hit points. Let's turn the auto pick up off and let us move on. So, um, inventory-wise, we have a plus one club, a plus two sling, um, and some rocks. The good thing about caveman is that we can cannibalize without penalty, so we can eat other dwarves if we so choose. Okay, we've taken some damage there, but that's fine. We kill the jackal. We shall eat the jackal. There we go. Satiated, and we'll pick up some gold pieces. So the plan for this one is hopefully to get a bit further than we have done before, um, because so far we've not been greatly successful in our two runs thus far. That being said, it's me relearning the game as much as anything else. I did some practice before. We, surprisingly, I did some practice before we did the um, the original NetHack LP. Oh, Lichen, which we kill, doesn't drop a corpse though. Yeah, and I've got to stop spamming buttons like that. That's what gets me killed oh, more often than anything else in this game. Spamming buttons. Alright, let's search here. Oh, was that, that was just my dog. Okay, nothing there seemingly. So let's open up. Locked. Kick him a door. Not a shopkeeper. But we get a newt. And I might as well eat the newt corpse. Okay, that was rotten. We're now lightheaded. We're now also confused. Let's just pause until that happens. I feel less confused, and hopefully my dog is doing his thing down there. Killing some grid bugs. That's a statue or something. Okay. Statue of a jackal we're going to ignore. We do not go and deal... Oh, Lichen. Which is dead. We have a Lichen corpse. Hazar, we have some food. And another door. Locked. Kicking the door. We haven't found a shopkeeper at all yet, have we? No. Six crossbow bolts. Let's see if the dog will go over them. He will. So that indicates that they're probably not cursed. That opens after resisting it a little bit. Unfortunately, there's nothing in here. Unless a quick search reveals something. It doesn't. Okay, so there's nothing out here. Oh, it's a slasher, it's called. Okay, huzzah. Come, slasher. Though you'll always be Spartacus to me, because I don't know why my version of NetHack, he was called Spartacus. Come along, slasher. We have many things yet to kill. And down we go to floor two. We hear someone cursing shopkeep shoplifters. And we kill a jackal. Displaced. Okay, there are things here. Two slime molds. We'll take those. The lightning is killed. There is a ring, which is, and also a wand which you have picked up. So it's not cursed. It's not a cursed wand. In fact, I should do that, shouldn't I? Drop the twisted ring. Cat, will the dog go on it? It doesn't look like he will. We'll confirm that later. But I'm going to assume for the moment that um, that ring is cursed. You can use leashes and things to to confirm things like that. 
Um, and it will go something like he reluctantly walks over it. But of course, you don't trust leech leeches in this game either, because they tend to be lethal. At least to be animal. And... Okay, apologies. Uh, right. So continuing on, we have some silver arrows. Silver arrows would be quite useful to have if we had any way of firing them, I suppose. Slasher, get here now. Okay. So those are fine, or at least not cursed. Along here we find not a lot. There's a shop or there is a vault somewhere on this floor. Okay, we're just going to buzz over to there. That's just a dog. Okay, won't well, let me bypass the dog. Right. That darn dog is getting in the way again. Come on, let me get to there. Oh, there's a fox. Darn it, I thought that was the dog. Okay, pay more attention to things. We're going to eat the fox corpse. Oh, it's a statue of a lichen. Um, There's probably not much point in messing around with that. I mean, he can occasionally come to life, but... Oh, Slasher's eating a newt corpse. Good for you, Slasher. You will need Slasher to go and kill some more things and become more powerful. It'll be very helpful later on. Okay. What is along here? Along here, there is another lichen. Level 2. Okay, and we have a second lichen corpse. And we have some glod. We don't have a lot of charisma, though. We've got 8 charisma, so we're not likely to be able to get goons at good prices. I forget, though, the conversion rates of items and things, though. But I would like to find this shop of it is around. Welcome to the general store. Okay, there are mimics and things, and at this stage, I can't see anything that looks out of the ordinary, which is a potential problem. This is a clear potion. In fact, what I'm going to do... Let's see if our dog can get into this. Okay, dog has picked up a scroll. So the scroll's fine. Oh, that's a small mimic. Darn it! Okay, 15. We're on 6. I have one more hit before I can actually try anything, so I'm actually going to pray at this point. Uh, see the extended command list. We are going to pray. Anu is pleased. Unfortunately, that didn't actually... Oh, no, he did... That did prevent us from one hit. Unfortunately, we didn't heal from that. Level 3. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, thankfully, somebody dropped a potion knot for us and a scroll. Good going, Slasher. We have a few reasonable items from there, and that could have gone worse. That could have gone much, much worse. I've had deaths from characters for your early mimics. But we've got a couple of things which are definitely not cursed and could do just about anything. And that's not theft because the dog stole it. And apparently the shopkeeper likes animals. Fool though he is. Oh, whoa, what was that? That was the brown mold and we're now level four. So that's just the experience we get for killing a mimic. So now that we are level 4, I think we are... Have we only found one way down? Yeah, I believe we have only found one way down, so... Come, Slasher, we now enter this level of a dungeon. Okay, a sink. Sink can occasionally have some interesting things in it, but I'm not going to open that just yet. We're going to kick this door down. In three hits. find nothing. Right, kick. Again, nothing found. 
Out of some gold. Gold's always useful, though. Is there a connecting point? There is. Okay, there we go. That's important to find, but we... Actually. Okay. I now need to wield. Plus two sling. No, didn't want to do that. It did drop a corpse. Okay. Eat the floating eye corpse. Strange mental acuity. Okay. Now, we should have a rough idea where there are monsters on the map. Which should be kind of revealed to us. And that's occasionally useful because it occasionally shows you what trouble you're in before you get in trouble. Meanwhile... Okay, potion's okay. We might... We're not going to go to random drinking of potions just yet because... It doesn't always work out for you. In fact, it rarely works out for you. Even if you know they're not cursed. Oh, there's a lamp. Okay. We're going to pick up that and now we're going to go for the extended command list and we are going to... Rub the lamp. Nothing happens. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Nothing happens. Okay, for the moment, I'm going to leave that alone. I've summoned jinns with great success in the past. I summoned one to kill um, moving target at one point. Both my tourists had really good runs. They were short runs, but they were really good. Okay, the door opens and we find another lot. This is we have a light source, I suppose, if nothing else. Okay, large box. Let's go and actually, before we do that. Okay, so that is already opened. We're going to loot the large box. Take something out, all types. Okay. There's a tin and a scroll. Check our inventory quickly. So we've got no duplicate scrolls as of yet. We have two latching corpses, a lamp. Okay. I'm just taking inventory for the moment. Also, is that we now got two ways down? We have two ways down. So we found the gnome mines. At the very least. What's along here? Other than a rock. A very long tunnel. Well, this feels halfway pointless. Oh, there we go. Open door. Okay, so we found an extra sort of way through there. I think I've been everywhere. Alright. Slasher. Slasher. Come on. Down we go. We are now in the Gnomish Mines on level 4. Okay, straw golem. 30 hit points. Okay, we kill the straw golem. Now, we are a dwarf, so we should be reasonably peaceful with a lot of what's in here. Oh, it's an acid blob. I'm not going to touch that if I can avoid it. He says, doing hit and run attempts on it. Another slime mold. Couple one that he did walk on. And the gnome is killed. No, the poor gnome. And the club, actually, strangely, might be worth picking up. As is the ruby potion. And the reason the club might be worth picking up is we do have a plus one. But there might still be better clubs than that. What we want to pick up here, if we can, is some armor from the dwarves. Preferably some high plus iron boots. And is that a hobbit? Is he a peaceful hobbit? He's a peaceful hobbit. We don't really want Sting. It's most of the distance we're going to eat then, because we're now starting to feel hungry. We're going to eat a lichen corpse. Meanwhile, let's see what happened here. Uh, Sasha drops a dagger. We see a silver wand. Actually, he... No, he must have picked that up in order... He must have gone over it in order to pick up the dagger. So... I'm assuming they're okay. 
It's not an elven dagger, though. And there we go. We see an orange gem. Kill the newt. Eat the newt. Okay, what are you? I can't remember anything about mains. And the dwarf is killed. Now, unfortunately, the slasher ate the dwarf corpse, but that gives us a dwarvish cloak and a pair of hard shoes. Now, I'm going to put those on. This is possibly a mistake knowing this game, but I'm going to do it anyway. Dwarvish cloak goes on. Did not armor class go up? I don't think it did. Where? Show inventory. Hard shoes. Am I wheel? No, that's wheeling. Duh. Okay, finish my dr epic dressing maneuver, but unfortunately, that doesn't actually help me out massively. Next, we're going to wear straight inventory of the Dwarvish Cloak. And next, we're going to wield the plus one club. Ideally, we'd like some iron shoes. Oh, Gnome Lord is killed. Where did the Gnome Lord corpse go? I don't know, but this is doing quite well for Slasher at this point. Uh, everything's peaceful in here. This is going to present a problem for experience gains, but it is going to allow Spaskus to do things. Slash has fallen asleep, so he's obviously found some form of trap. That is a sleeping gas trap. Okay, we know where that is. A blue gem, and that's a looking glass. Looking glasses are occasionally useful. They'll, prevent, they'll save us from Medusa-type enemies. I'll tell you what, Slasher, you're doing amazingly well. I would like you to be okay, though, if we can. Um, can I chat to you and find out how your hit points are? I think that's a thing. Yep. I think he's okay. As long as he's not hurting anything more than gnomes, I suppose it should be fine. He's still a little dog. Okay, the gnome is killed. I didn't even see the gnome we were fighting there. That might just be a gnome off screen that died to something. Another gnome killed. And there we go. Okay, now he's definitely a um, he's now a tame dog. So Hazar, the dog has leveled up and he is now a much stronger fighting force. And darn it, that's a teleport thing. He dog could be anywhere. He might not even be on this floor anymore. Okay, I don't know whether he will actually be in the same place. Oh, there he is. Whew, don't leave me like that, Slasher. We're beginning to feel hungry. So let's eat another Lichen Corpse. And then we're going to go and fire. Okay, we kill that, we get to level 5. Okay, take the Flintstones. And then I think we're heading down. Oh, that's a dart trap. Let's not um, worry about that. Go and kill this gnome off. Darn it, stop being hit by poison darts. I feel tough. That's increased my constitution to six, uh, 17. And the gnome is killed. Right. Well, Ugg the Caveman, once Slasher comes near me, is going down to dungeon level 5 of the No Mines, and we're going to explore this next time, because actually, I feel we've done enough to split the videos off. So, until then then, folks.